Dallas man accused of shooting and then killing a suspected burglar at his home is now charged with murder. Aaron Jones is live in East Dallas this evening, right near 30 and Grand. Aaron, police say the homeowner, I guess, went back to sleep right after the shooting. That's part of what's been making headlines with this. That's right, Doug. That's what police say. They say he went to sleep for two hours before waking up, seeing a body in his backyard and calling 911. Tonight, 72-year-old James Meyer is out of jail. He bonded out on Friday, a day after this shooting occurred and is now back at home. We spoke to several of his neighbors tonight who tell us that they do not think he should be charged with murder. Uh, I've known him for a long time. He's an honest, upstanding citizen. I've never heard of him ever being violent. Calvin Holbrook believes his neighbor, 72-year-old James Meyer, does not deserve the murder charge he's facing after fatally shooting a suspected burglar early Thursday morning. Ultimately, he's simply trying to defend himself. Meyer told police around 5 a.m. he woke up to a man breaking into his shed. He went outside with a handgun to confront him, telling him to stop or he'd shoot. Uh, situations can escalate pretty fast, emotions, you know, get you carried away. Meyer told police the burglar took several steps toward him with a pickaxe, so he fired around. As the burglar dropped the axe and ran away, Meyer fired an additional shot into the night. He claims he didn't know if the bullets ever hit the burglar and went back to bed. Two hours later, he got up, noticed the man's body in his backyard, and called 911 to report what happened. He should have called as soon as it happened. How could he sleep after that? I think it's crazy because I just, nobody thought that he would do that, but it is kind of understandable. Alondra Flores, who lives across the street from Meyer, says in this neighborhood, crime is a constant concern. She's been burglarized three times in the last year, and as a result, has added a metal fence and security cameras to her property. So we just installed it for protection. It could happen to everybody. And neighbors tell us that actually a lot of these metal fences are new, a response to the recent crime spike. We did reach out to Meyer tonight for comment. He referred us to his attorney, who we are still waiting to hear from. Reporting live in Dallas tonight, Aaron Jones, CBS 11 News.